So it's 1021 and I feel like I'm going stir crazy. You know when you like, when you know you can't leave your house, you feel like you're going even crazier. I mean, I could go to a cafe. I could. But I have to, I'd have to do something. Like I'd have to get makeup on, I'd have to get dressed. Really, I should be getting dressed anyway because it's a weekday and I should not be staying in my sweatpants. But it's freezing outside, so we are not going to be able to go for a walk today, which is very unfortunate. And since we cannot go for a walk, I just feel like I'm stuck. <laughs> Bomi, I feel stuck. I'm cold. It's really cold. It's 56 degrees in here. I don't want to turn the heat on. I feel like this is a test of wills. I am strong enough to keep the heat off. It's It was like 56 degrees outside yesterday. What is the temperature outside right now? 28, yeah, it's cold. 28 feels like 19. Oh. It's been a couple of days since I've talked to you. Um, I, oh, this is, this is the start of the vlog? Is it? Am I starting the vlog actually looking good for once? <laughs> Because normally I start to look like a potato. Is this the start of the vlog? I think it is. I don't think I filmed yesterday after I posted. I don't know. Anyway, hey, hi, Sarah Sutton here with her birthday nails. Ah. I confused a lot of people because they're like, oh my gosh, my birthday is tomorrow. When's yours? I'm like, it's not until April 9th, which today is the 19th. I get my nails done every four weeks. So by the time I go back, it's going to be like the 16th of April. So adds after my birthday. So technically these are birthday nails, even though it's not going to be for a while still. So my mom is bringing me lunch, but this girl is famished. So she is going to eat something. She's going to make something. I think I'm going to make pancakes because it feels like the easiest thing to be making right now. I'm coming on to update you. Actually, I need to get into that cabinet. Give me one second. Coming on to update you about progress in the manuscripts or lack thereof. I haven't edited for a few days because yesterday it was a, was a client work day and it drained me. And the day before, I don't know, really. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you when the last time I touched the manuscript was. Was it? It was Sunday. It was Sunday because I wrote in the morning, tried to have a Patreon live stream, and then my internet said no. So it was Sunday. Today's only Tuesday, so I guess I'm not as bad off as I thought I was. What was I saying? Oh, I got my nails done today. It's 4.20 now. Hopefully we're going to be able to write the night away, edit the night away, whatever. I'm so hungry. I just want to check in because I just, you know, when I look like I have, when I have makeup on and my hair done, I have to like document it because like... It's a rare sight, okay? I am in love. I've, I had these kind of nails like a little bit before. Maybe, like, I don't know, a month or two ago. But um, I, they're like my favorite things ever, the pinks and the glittery gold. So um, when she asked me what I wanted to do, I was like, um, these. <laughs> Bobo, where are you? Oh, you're gonna find my feet. Come here, come here. When she was a puppy, she came. Now, you, you are uh, an angsty adolescent. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I see your tail wagging. Come here. Why don't you want me to pick you up? Guess what? I'm gonna anyway. Hi. Oh my, your ears flipped. Are they both flipped? What the heck? How does this happen? <gasps> Look at you, pretty girl. Oh, I'm starved. I shouldn't have let myself get this hungry, but when I have plans outside of the house, I can't eat before them. Freaking IBS. Make these pancakes, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Yo, when I tell you I'm so ding dang tired, I am so tired. Also, this is hilarious contrast to the last clip where I was actually done up, and now I'm in my prime. Tee -hee. I don't know why I'm so tired. I could go back to bed. I had coffee an hour ago. I woke up exhausted. I'm exhausted now. I've been trying to get writing in or editing in, but like, it's not happening. It came on for a reason other than to complain, I swear. But I don't know what it was. Oh, I published my Love in Fenton County complete collection yesterday on Kindle Unlimited and ebook. I, I want to plan like a read along, but like I don't know when a good time to do it would be, you know? I'm not sure. People can sign up and we can read it all together and like share our thoughts and stuff, but like I don't know when. A good time to do that would be because I haven't reread the books in a long, long, long time. Actually, I feel like the only one I ever reread was What Events Four. Or was it Can't Catch It Right Breath? I don't remember. 
but uh, I haven't reread, at least I haven't reread Out of My League. I know that for sure. And I don't think Two Kinds of Us either. So I feel like it'd be fun to like schedule a time where we could all read it together and then like do a one live stream a week where we talk about, you know, the book. But I also don't even know how, like, would be giving people a week to read work. I mean, I know, I know book clubs are usually a month, but like, I don't know, a week doesn't seem like enough time. I literally feel like I could pass out right now, like just sitting here. Is there like mold in this place and I just don't see it and I, it's just draining me of my energy. Also, not having my contacts in probably isn't helping because my eyes feel sleepier without them. So it's probably something too. I just want to let you know that I took a nap and I woke up um, a fully functioning human being again. So <laughs> I was dead uh, tired. I don't know what it was. You want to go outside? I don't know what it was, but oh my gosh. We were <laughs> rough. Thing is too, I don't know if I napped for one hour or two. I think it was two. I woke up at 12.30. I just couldn't remember when I went to bed. Like pretty much after I ended that clip. But if I said it, like what time it was in that clip, I don't remember if I did, so. Oh, so do you not have to go potty then? Anyway, yeah, we're alive. We're fully functioning. And I think it's time for some food. I don't know what it's gonna have, I'm gonna have, but maybe cereal. Cereal's easy. I'll let you go here. Oh. And I'll check in when I sit back down to write. I tried to edit a little bit this morning, but like functioning itself wasn't happening this morning. So we didn't get further than two lines edited. That was where we were this morning. You need to be charged. So I'm going to charge you. And we'll check in later today. Ooh. Hi, hey, hello. Okay. So it is 11 o'clock at night. I just finished chapter, well actually I'm, I'm close to finishing chapter nine, I wanna say. <sighs> chapter nine, 34,000 words edited, 34, 37. We're almost done with chapter nine anyway, I know that for sure. Um, I feel like I'm moving too slow. Like I wanna go to bed, but I do think I need to at least try and do one more chapter at least. Because today is the 20th, I think I, because then tomorrow I have client work, Friday I'm going to be busy for most of the day. So I have this feeling that I'm going too slow. However, I will say that this is my last client work um, and for, that's booked. Um, Fiverr updated its like system recently and ever since it updated I have been getting no views on my gig like well I say that like for reference before I was getting like a thousand ish views on my gig per day now I'm getting like 200 views on my gig per day um so I haven't had any new clients book with me that is disconcerting for one but for two I am going to be off of client work until somebody books with me again so I do have after tomorrow and then Friday I'm busy Friday I have the rest of the month which is what a week yeah a week to finish these edits I think I can do it if I plan better because the hard thing is is usually I've been taking Bomi for walks and she it tires her out for the rest of the day and I'm able to write. However, it's been too cold for walks so I don't have that like luxury so she's awake a lot more. So since it's too cold, I think what I need, it's not going to be warm again until Monday. Today is Wednesday. So I think what I need to do, get out of the house more. Because when I'm out of the house, it obviously takes the distraction of her away. And I would be able to get a lot done without that distraction of her waking up and wanting to play. Because that's actually why I stopped editing just now, because she just woke up. Um, so I think if I were to just like go to a coffee shop, you know, more dedicated next week, um, that'd be a good idea. Even like Saturday, I could go Saturday. I just think it's crunch time <laughs> and we are going far too slow because we're a third of the way edited. <sighs> Yikes. I could give you a million and one excuses, you know, but the fact of the matter is it needs to get done by the end of March. So we gotta make it happen. So let's make it happen. You're so stinking cute though, so it's a good thing. Come here. Oh, look at the vlog. 
Show the vlog your cuteness. I love you. You're not supposed to be on the table. There are no puppies on the table. Except we actually, I do put her on the table to brush her because there's no other spot for me to be able to like have access to her so easily. So she does go on the table for a time or two. But I always clean it after she's off it. Since you're up here, you probably should just brush you now, huh? Getting so long again. I love it. <coughs> Oof, bless me. Um, but anyway, that's me and Balmy. Did she, did you? You did. Okay. Annyeonghaseyo. Oh my gosh, today is going by so slow. So I'm only halfway through my manuscript. It's going slow because it's single spaced and I could have double spaced it, but I didn't really feel like it. So I always feel weird edit making any editing changes, even though they do help me. Unless like the font is in, what is the one, Courier New, and like I cannot read this. It's... 5.30, second cup of coffee is right here. This is going to be the last day of the vlog though because it has to go up tomorrow. And I thought I would update you, but even though it's not like a fun update, none of these updates have been fun or exciting. It's so hard to, I need to go back and watch my edit vlogs because it's so hard to do an edit vlog because like I can't do a time lapse because it's not as smooth, like, sailing as writing time lapses are or, a, you know, B-roll art is. But that's me. With my pretty nails. Mm. Pretty nails that look so pretty with this mug. I'm gonna watch something on my phone while I drink the coffee because I have a hard time multitasking with editing or writing with coffee because I forget about the coffee, then the coffee goes cold, and then it is just a sad, wasteful cup of coffee. Because I'm not one to microwave my cup of coffee. Let me know, are you? I think that works better when you don't have like creamer and stuff in your coffee. I think when you drink black coffee, it's easily microwavable. But let me know in the comments. Do you microwave your coffee when it gets cold? Laptop. Oh, they cost a soul. Oh my goodness. Okay. I've been trying to do better about like reviewing my Korean on my iPad because I have an iPad and you know, I want, I want, the, okay, let me, let me tell you what I want and maybe you might know. Okay. So I use this app. It's called Memrise. Okay. This app. And I like it. But it's not, an, it's like a, it's like a memorization app, which they all kind of are. But I want a Korean language, like a language learning app where I can practice my writing too. Do they make those? What I really want is like, you know, like back in high school we did like, uh, I had, I took two years, three years of Spanish? Two. We had like worksheets and workbooks and I want, I want that. But like I don't want to have to take an actual college class where I have to actually perform like and like speak and like I don't want to do that because my mom recommended that like I would like the college aspect for everything but being graded on how well I speak it I just want to learn it I don't want to have to talk to a professor but until then I am just practicing my memorization stuff because oh my gosh, look at baby Sarah and her baby dog well my dog's not a baby there but oh cute when was this? March 1st, 2016. My, my, my first dog. Oh, look at us here. What is this? December 5th, 2015. Stop. Oh my gosh. She's a Pekingese and I have wanted a Pekingese ever since we've had her. Oh my god. <gasps> September 16th, 2016. So this is after my Pekingese passed. But we just got baby Maya. Stop it. Stop it. Also, why am I so cute there with that little bandana in my hair? Okay, girl, pop off. Oh my gosh, geeky little Sarah. April 17th, 2016, I was cutting her the Pekingese hair because she was terrified of the groomers. And Oh, that's so funny. That's probably all going to get cut, to be honest. All right, I will talk to you when I'm finished with my reading. Suda. Pigunada. Hembokada. Hembokada. Tugun, tugun. 나 혼자 짝사랑 중이야. 셋, 십, 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 십
I feel I feel drained like I could turn my brain off for the rest of the day and but I am I will say I am a little bit alarmed that I do not have any more client work um booked uh I will I don't think that's happened I think every time that I've gotten down to one last client work um somebody else is booked so my one fear is that like Fiverr now you can like pay to advertise your gigs like to boost them in the search and so like my one fear is that now that they're doing that and they've been doing it for a while but they recently updated like their site um now that they're doing that I'm like don't make me pay to boost my gig in order to get orders you know I am a loyal seller on your platform why are you doing this to me like I've completed since 2018 I think I only had two orders in 2018 though. And in, in all the years that I've done client work, I've read 771 manuscripts. Well, last year it was 151. This year so far, we've read 25. Part of me thinks I should like plan out my Instagram content a bit more because it's been a while since I've done that. I was much better last month at promoting my books and stuff. This month we have been struggling a little bit, but it's fine. I'm just on the struggle bus, you know? I want to play a game with you all, okay? Little game, little game. See this PC wall, photo card wall? Okay, roughly. Roughly how many photo cards do you think is on that wall? Don't cheat. Don't count. Just roughly how many photo cards do you think is on that wall? Hmm? Pretty wall, pretty wall. I do have a fat stack I haven't put up yet. I've been looking at it. I just love it, you know? It's one of those things that make me happy. Yes. It's an expensive hobby, collecting. Um, but collecting is a hobby, and, you know, I don't have any other hobbies. So I, you know, just kind of went full send into a hobby that I have. Fun fact about me, I normally go full send into things. Also fun fact about me, uh, for the longest time, writing was my hobby, and then writing became my job, and then I didn't have a hobby for the longest time. So finding a hobby which is collecting, uh, was very fun and it was a very fun experience. I, do I dove head first into it. Beautiful photo card wall. When, I, when they were on my fridge, flashback if you remember, they were on my fridge for the longest time. We had a PC fridge. I counted and I had 100, right? Um, 100 PCs. And I moved this to my wall in December, I wanna say. January, my aunt had passed away. I did it in a fit of like, emotional that like distraughtness I just randomly did it January I did it in January so I, I someone I was talking to on Instagram they're like oh yeah I have like 290 PCs and I'm like whoa that's a lot I was like I think I have like 100 ish I, I did the math so there's 14 columns like 14 down 14 rows down um 22 PCs in a row 14 times 22 is 308 Yes, there are blank spaces, but like I said, I had that fat stack of photo cards I haven't put up yet. So, like, I have over 300 photo cards. And I told myself I was only going to collect my polls. I was only going to buy one album. I don't have regrets. And to anybody saying that I should, you know, it's okay. It's not your money. Like, it's okay. Uh, it's not your hobby. It's mine. Please don't be, like, snarky or judgmental in the comments because that's not cool. This is not that kind of space. I will delete those comments. <laughs> but I never really stopped because it doesn't, I will be honest, tell me, this, this does not look like 300 photo cards, does it? Does this look like 300 photo cards? No. No way. No way. But it is. I have no regrets. They make me very happy. And you know what? If I want to sell them one day, I can sell them one day. But that day is not today and it's not anytime soon. But it's just so pretty, you guys. It's so pretty. Which one's my favorite? Mm. These ones are cute. This little pair. How they match the, you know, like the concept matches. This one's adorable. You can't tell me otherwise. This one's beautiful. It's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Beautiful pair. Love them to pieces. This one's a little bit scary. He looks a little bit scary, but he's also beautiful, so it's fine. Top line. I figured since we were like random about other stuff, I might as well also share some random stuff about my hobbies and my passions and Sarah Sutton. I have all my cupboards open again. Why does this keep happening? I'm gonna blame it on a ghost, but then I thought I'd probably accidentally manifest a ghost into being and we're not gonna risk it.